warmer weather coming out there. We are seeing people gathering all around. Maybe it's a glass of wine with a couple neighbors in the driveway or a walk with a friend. So we wondered what are the guidelines for outdoor get togethers? Because, Heather, I think people are really all along the spectrum on this, whether mm -hmm. it comes from trying to be as cautious as possible right. and essentially locking it down just with your immediate family mm -hmm. to uh, people who are having these gatherings. Right. So, so what did you find? You went to the state. We did. And so the initial order, the governor's order, which came up, you know, back last month, was that you could do outdoor activities as long as you were keeping social distancing. So I think that means different things for different people. Right, because first was the order of social distancing, then was an order stay at home, which right. to me meant like lock it down, right. like you can go on and you can go out with your family, right. but like you're supposed to lock it down. But then on April 17th, when the governor said we're going to open golf courses and boating and fishing and hunting and mm -hmm. hiking, to me that made me wonder, all right, like is it a little looser when it comes to right. outside? And so there's a couple things to think about here. This does not mean that you should have a big backyard barbecue with all of your neighbors because you're going to be standing six feet apart. Right. There's a lot of things you need to think about when you are trying to maintain that social distance. First, number one, if you are going to be gathering with people, make sure it's outside. If you're inside, it really just needs to be be with your family unit. Okay. So let's talk about just being outside. You have to make sure that you're going to be six feet or more. I mean, at least six feet yeah. from people at all times. So there's a difference between having, you know, a glass of wine with another couple at the two ends of your driveway and you both came in from different sides versus having maybe three or four couples in your backyard and you all came through this one way into your backyard right. and you're standing around a fire pit and you're putting your hand in or taking it out. That's really hard to maintain that social distance the entire time. So the state said, first of all, just to be clear, like you went to an expert from the state yes. who said, yes, it's fine mm -hmm. if you want to have another couple in your driveway, measure right. out the distance and make sure you don't come within six feet, then mm -hmm. you're, they said that's fine. They said that's fine. Um, but here's the other thing to think about. Think of, you know, do you hear a lot? Oh, I'm going to go on a socially distanced walk with my girlfriend. I've heard yeah. that a lot. And yes. I see people doing that a lot. How do people achieve that? It's hard to do. Six and feet is far. It's very far. And actually, we took a tape measure yesterday. We went over the Lake of the Isles. It's the entire distance of the walking path in Lake of the Isle. So essentially you're having to stand on the grass on both sides yeah. if that's where you're walking. No one's doing it. And that. you have to do it the whole time. Right. So socially distance walks maybe not a great idea. Yeah. Um, think about your kids. Uh, there's a difference between having a two and a four year old visit grandma and grandpa than having a 10 and a 12 year old. The 10 and the 12 year old understand, okay, I need to keep off. The two and the four year old are just gonna run up and be hugging grandma and grandpa every 10 seconds. Huh. So think about that. Think about how many people are you talking about? Two couples keeping a distance is a way different than five families right. keeping distance. Uh, obviously, the team sports stuff, and I've seen right. a little of this. I softball games, so not a lot, no. but a little. Softball games, soccer, football, that's obviously a no. Right, that's a no. And a lot of it's a no because people are sitting on the sidelines next to each other. You may be separated on the softball field or on the baseball field, but yeah. there's people watching you and they're, and they're coming by. So just think about it. The guidelines are keep six feet, at least six feet at all times when you're outside. All right. Well, mm -hmm. it's good to know. It's yeah. a little, uh, for me anyway, I've been very strict. Right. So that's mm -hmm. a little freeing. Right. To other, and you still can do that too if that's mm -hmm. what you want. Right. right.